Neurological physiotherapy is a specialised area of physio which can have a huge impact on the quality of life for someone living with a neurological condition. It is exciting times in neurological rehab as exercise has been proven for the first time to be neuroprotective. And what this means for Parkinson's disease is that you may now have the potential to slow the progression of the condition down. When it comes to exercise, it does not matter what you do, it's the how you do it. The current evidence is pointing towards seven key principles. If you can try and incorporate these principles into your already exercise routine, you'll be starting down the right path. These principles include high intensity, amplitude, power, challenge, individual, fun, and daily. So taking high intensity first. When we refer to high intensity, we're talking about how hard you're working. It's really important that you are working hard enough to get out of breath. So when you work vigorously hard, increase your heart rate, get yourself taking deep breaths, that is when your body releases hormones into your brain to increase the activity in your brain. It's this increased activity which can help protect some of the pathways in your brain. So it's really important that you are doing some exercise on a regular basis that is actually making you out of breath. The second one is amplitude. And when we were talking about amplitude, we were talking about the range of movement. This is all about being big. So being making sure that you spread your arms out as big as you possibly can, opening up your fingertips, swinging those arms to the full range you possibly can, taking big steps. Third one is power. When we refer to power, it's the force that you can put into the movements. The Parkinson's disease is constantly trying to make you take small, slow, sluggish movements. You really have to fight it and force this movements to be really powerful and explosive. Challenge is a really important one. This is adding elements of dual tasking, making the exercises difficult and learning new things. If you keep doing the same old exercise routine that doesn't stimulate you and doesn't challenge you, there will be no change. You need to be challenged to have change. And it's been shown now that learning new movement patterns protects the brain more than doing any form of mental patterns, you know, mental arithmetic or anything like that. So it's important that you go off and learn new skills, like going to learn dancing, learning how to box, tai chi, something that's really going to challenge you and put you out of your comfort zone. Individual is that your exercise routine needs to be individual to you. Parkinson's disease is highly individual, so what may work for someone might not work for you and your symptom presentation. It's also got to be what you enjoy which leads us on to fun. There's no point, you know, saying that, you know, the last thing you want to do is go to the gym and then try and go to the gym because you'll probably only go for a few weeks before you're really bored and don't like it. So it's trying to find something that you enjoy. Are you an individual activity person? Do you like doing groups instead? And, um, you know, is it something, you know, that's inside? Is it something that's outside? It's got to be something that you look forward to doing. The most important one is that you need to be exercising on a daily basis. You cannot bank exercise. It doesn't matter how active you were 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 5 months ago. It's keeping active every day. The World Health Organization recommends that normal people participate in physical activity 30 minutes a day. Now, just because you've been diagnosed with Parkinson's doesn't mean that you're not normal anymore. So it's that importance of trying to keep as physically active as you can. It is these important progressions in neurological rehab, which is really highlighted for the knowledge and the expertise of neurological physiotherapy to be more accessible. And this leads us on to neurological physiotherapy being available online, allowing access no matter where your location is or your commitments. For further information on Connect Neurophysiotherapy and how they can help you and what services they offer, 
please visit www.connectmeurophysiotherapy.com.